was a sombre atmosphere at Glen Forest. Unspoken words, broken hearts, and tears on the faces of family, friends, and teachers as the 16-year-old students who perished in a horrific accident last Friday were laid to rest. The numbers, six deceased, became names breaking the hearts of many as the nation joined the families of the deceased to bury their loved ones. Kimbali Tarisai Mutusha, 15. Beyonce Tanyara Dzoguyo, 15. Anita Manyuka, 16. Craig Tanyara Dzomadanire, 14. Destiny Tadiwa Dziva, 14. And Anisu Ishe Niko Hove, 14. All laid to rest side by side. Some of their friends are still battling for life in hospital, nursing injuries and broken spirits. They will never be the same again after this life-changing accident which has left many searching for answers. The Tenward headmaster, Kenya Smatimba, says the institution is well aware of the scars this accident has left on the minds of both pupils and parents, needing counselling to get back on their feet. When a tragedy strikes, you need to one, calm down and be sober in everything that you do. You need to consider how each stakeholder in the school system is feeling and come up with strategies on how best to help each and every uh, stakeholder in the school. Firstly, the first and foremost important stakeholder, without that we cannot talk of a school, is the child. And we are saying, in this case, it's unusual to have a situation whereby if you had a classmate, a deskmate, just to say this city, it used to be Devon seat, it used to be Destiny seat, it used to be Caroline seat, it used to be Betty seat, but he is normal. So we are saying as a school, we have come up with a program where each and every child who is in our school is going to be cancelled by professionals. I am an educationist myself, but we are saying we are going to engage clinical psychologists who will come in to counsel our children so that at least the shock that they are in is eased. We are also going to ensure that we all counsel our parents, especially parents of uh, learners who were in the trip. Uh, it's not only those with children who are deceased that may need uh, counseling, but it's also all parents whose children were in the bus. Imagine getting to an accident scene, you realize that perhaps uh, your child just escaped death by a whisker. You will be in a big shock. And we have also come up with a program where we shall continue counseling those children. The school has also said it will invest into finding out what really went wrong, how to correct this so that it might not happen again. We are saying as a school, definitely this is a hard lesson. We shall do a thorough introspection, a look at where or what could we have done better to avoid such an incident. We shall also look at what plans can we put in place to ensure that our learners realize that learning cannot only take place effectively within the four walls of the classroom. For instance, let's say a child is doing geography. You are teaching a topic on waterfalls. There is no way you can effectively teach that topic by just drawing a diagram showing a waterfall. But you can effectively teach that topic by either uh, organizing an educational tour uh, to places such as Mutaraz Falls, to places such as Victoria Falls, where when a teacher is explaining, the teacher will be able to bridge theory and reality, and learners would conceptualize concepts better than just having a lesson being done in a class. Let me say, it has been our philosophy as a school that we expose our learners to a lot of clubs that include but not limited to uh, the likes of robotics uh, for example our robotics this year they traveled to Dakar Senegal where they came number four 
to qualify for the first global robotics competition and as i am speaking to you right now i am happy to repeat that it's like there is a bittersweet uh, iron in that whilst we are mourning the passing on of our six learners we are also celebrating our scooping of a gold medal in the just ended first global robotics competition so in other words we get solace in that whilst we are in a said moment on another note we also received good news yesterday to say the team is qualified they will be touching down at Harare International Airport at 15.40. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Primary and Secondary Education, Tumisang Tabela, has called for prayer for those still in hospital. I want to acknowledge you, my dear parents, and say to you, on behalf of the Minister of Primary and Secondary Education, Honorable Dr. Evelyn Rovu, on behalf of the Honorable Deputy Minister for Primary and Secondary Education, Honorable Edgar Moyo, on my own behalf as the Permanent Secretary for that very ministry, on behalf of all the Chief Directors, Directors and staff in the ministry, I stand here to say sincere condolences. This loss that we are gathered here to conclude in a way in terms of interring our dear children is a very painful loss to us as the education fraternity. I think for us to understand just how devastating this incident has been to us as a ministry I want us to think of one simple statistic that I was looking at as I was sitting here. We all know that there was COVID-19 pandemic which destroyed so many lives. And for the ministry, with our 4,600,000 children, we only lost two children to COVID-19. But today, just one second has given us a loss of six lives. We couldn't do anything about COVID-19, but I stand here to say to us as adults, I think we can do something about incidents like this one we have today. We thought the days of Regina Cheney were gone, but we noticed that there are still things we are not getting right as a people, as a sector. So on behalf of the ministry, I want to appeal to us all as adults who live with these children, these gifts that God gave to our parents, who we are unfortunately mourning today, and say, what can we do better? to try and prevent this repeat of this kind of tragedy. As we talk right now, quite a number of our children and staff members are in critical condition. We can only pray that God stays this execution. So we invite Bafundi Svedu, my Bishop Elu, Utinamatai, Vamwewedu, Achirimuj Patara, some of them are very critical. Just beg God to stay any further loss of lives. We think one loss of life is one too many. And today as we sit here, we need to ask each other. I was talking to my colleague and saying, what can we do better? How can we control the vehicles that are used to carry these children so that they can move at speeds that can help the driver control the vehicle no matter what incident or no matter what uh, emergency they come across. We want to open a dialogue with the whole community. How can we train our children, our teachers, our administrators on how we can save lives? 
Having said that, let me just once again say, as a ministry, the growth of such potential, the cutting off of these flowers, the six flowers that we have today, it is just too heavy. We can only understand in a very small way how each family is coping. But as a ministry, we want to say we commit the families to God during this painful time. And we commit the school and the school community to God. He will help you move through this shadow of the valley, the valley of the shadow of death. Because it is indeed 14-year-old uh, school. And we hope that all the other schools represented here are learning a lesson on how we can preserve the lives, the future of our country, which we are burying today in a very big way. I want to say once again, most sincere condolences. And let us keep working with these families. Let it not be just these crowds we are seeing here. Let's continue counseling, supporting. They will need that. Currently they are terribly shocked, but they will need to be helped to walk beyond these lives that they are living today. My Tayenu, thank you so much, Director of Ceremonies. Government also stepped in saying it will cover all funeral and hospital costs. Tafadzo Muguti. The Permanent Secretary for Provincial Affairs and Devolution stood in to make the offer. The Office of the President and Cabinet, Irio Office of Minister of State for Provincial Affairs and Devolution, do now put you on behalf of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe, Dr. E. D. Mnangagwa, on behalf of the Honorable Vice Presidents, my ministers all say I am office of the president and cabinet, my permanent secretary, my deputy chief secretary, my permanent secretary, and my directors, Mr. Pios, Ntine Urombo. Muswe chatu takamuka to the news, yehuti tangatara skirwa, nevanu, gumi, matebele linsao. Tichano higa mosuwe chano utaka receive a news rakari kuti wanamendi wanga wa shaya. Nuda kuti indita ule ni emise mbeleki kuti sunoru waza kuti chida hapa mae oneke zanane wana wako kukila buzz are full of excitement kwenda utrip doka anga ule kekupetisira kuonani Muna matuwedu ndo kutumaru wa kusimbisei wa kunyaradzei panguwai. Ndakandi rupuzi wa anema teachers na headmaster kuta Anita Angar Form 3 was a very good basketball player. Beyonce Form 3 was a great volleyball player. Anisu Form 2 Anga Ishtamba Girls Soccer. Tarsai Form 1 the youngest Anga Shitamba Hoki. Destiny Form 2 Anga Shitamba Hoki. And Craig Wangwaru Kutamba Cricket and Basketball are Form 2. These are lives which have been cut short. We are trying to think as government with what could we have done to save these lives. Ngangota wa Nandichiti Mwari Ndiya Anopa Mwari Ndiya Anotora. Kisinga wanze mashoko Nga ukuru zira Headmaster Nga staff yose Kutipanguwa ini Vanya nye kubatsira Mbana wangu haru kutsinza ni wangu haru This is a very shocking time In their ages To comprehend Six of their friends passing away Zunu Shakao Tichakumbila Shakari wa Mpunza Our provincial education director Kutitambe chakamina makansela zienu Tichibati na chukono Ni ma teachers kose Tichenda hewe di mjatuwa kwa nisa Siku urumende Kutitambe chichibati na the families in any way possible 
as part of our civil protection act cinema is a tab visa zirukenda directly which all and singa no means you know headmaster watch as this one my family is one of the marriage of the mukwanse kubatsikana nema my funeral costs amanga nae masangana na nae jojo tunokutenda hama nisha mari maya kuzo kuta the six families dichitina urongo our six angels they are going to be with the lord marak simsei gatenda Police have issued a preliminary statement saying the accident happened when the driver allegedly failed to negotiate a curve leading to the bus veering off the road rolling three times in Nyanga. An educational trip which was supposed to be a learning and entertainment curve for the young ones ended in pain and horror. It will forever haunt the school the nation and even the driver who is still in hospital it is a sad end to young promising lives gone never to be seen again on this side of the earth may their souls rest in peace lady gomera reporting for hstv news glen forest harare